What's going on everybody? Welcome to Command and Console. My name is Jason. Today we had a look last week at the best of PS2 in my collection. So why not go back in time and have a look at the best PS1 titles in my collection. Just like last time, um, there's going to be games that are not going to be on this list that should be because I don't own them yet. A la Silent Hill, Metal Gear Solid, uh, Resident Evil 3 would be in there big time. Uh, there's other games I'm just I'm going out of my head. Vagrant Story Pro would be one. I love that game. There's lots of games that I don't own yet that would have probably made the list if they were in my collections, but they're not, sadly. So these are five games that I've picked in my current collection that I believe are the best games out of the bunch at the moment. Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, this might be my favourite Final Fantasy. Um, maybe kind of slightly behind Final Fantasy VI, in my opinion. I think VI is just like the perfect kind of like 16-bit, you know, JRPG in my opinion. But when we went to 3D, this is probably my favourite 3D Final Fantasy, if I'm honest with you. Uh, never got on board with Final Fantasy VII. That might be crazy for people to hear, but I never got on board with Final Fantasy VII. But for some reason, I really, really like this one. And I played this one first as well. I played, I played this one before Final Fantasy VII. Uh, love this game. I love the characters. I love the GF system. Uh, I love the combat. I love the leveling up. I remember just going through the opening area and grinding and grinding as much as I can until I could beat the T-Rex in the forest, right? Because that would one-shot you at the beginning of the game if you come across it. You're better off running away from it if you come across that in the early, the, that early part of the game. But I'd grind and grind and grind until I was strong enough to defeat that T-Rex. And then I would basically grind it out and fight the T-Rex over and over again if I could, if I could get that random battle. Uh, and I'd just be unbeatable at the beginning of the game. Like, I was opious. It made the game too easy, of course. But as a kid, you don't care. You just want to be, like, super powerful. Um... But yeah, I love this game. I adore it. The opening cinematic at the time when I got this just blew my mind like, how good it was. Like the opening cinematic with the, with the waves and the music, it was just epic, like epic beyond epic. And uh, I swear, when you when you got into in game, like your brain goes to yourself, you know, as a kid, like graphics can't be, you know, can't get any better than this. And you, you put this on nowadays, you're just like, this game looks dreadful. What were we talking about back then? Jesus Christ. Um, but this game uh, has so much fun. I, I, I just played hours of it um i played absolutely hours of it and i'm so glad to have it in the collection again uh, it's definitely the one of the best games in my collection at the moment um but yeah uh it's just so good um uh, fun fact i've never played final fantasy 9 which people keep telling me to play so maybe i should get that for the collection and give that a go but final fantasy 8 is definitely one of the best in the collection next up might be my favorite game on the machine aside from maybe metal gear solid which i don't own yet that is resident evil 2 i adore this game um i absolutely absolutely adore it uh it's just it's survival horror perfection to me um there's one resident evil game that tops this for me and that is the the gamecube resident evil remake i think that's the best resident evil game ever made but resident evil 2 at the time was just revolutionary to me uh scary as hell micromanagement in a game for me was just you 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 it added that kind of panic that terror where you do I, can't, I ain't got enough bullets i haven't got no you know first aid sprays i've got no herbs i'm i'm gonna be ripped apart by like a liquor or something it, it was great it, it, the limitations of the, of the of the hardware created the fear and the survival elements that we know from resident evil today they're classic elements to me and i just love this game the opening sequence for me it's just quite a boys all hell um me and my friends uh we we always quote it out of the blue just randomly for no reason because it's just classic um it's just so good like i i adore this game absolutely adore it it's just one of the best uh survival horrors ever made and my disc is loose for some reason twats uh, but yeah i love it um it's just so good resident evil 2 it's, it's gonna it's i think it is seen as a ps1 classic right it has to be because it is uh it's definitely one of the best games in my collection at the moment and it'll probably still remain as in, in, the, in the best games list for me because it's one of my favorites of all time that's Resident Evil 2 so um, if you saw my PS2 video last week uh, this week um, we're doing a similar thing so I spoke about the best fighting game from the sixth generation with Soul Calibur 2 in my PS2 video today we're going to be talking about the best fighting game from the fifth generation and that is Tekken 3 um, yeah a Tekken 3 is just perfection right 
in a fighting game. I can pretty much kind of echo the same feelings I've got for Soul Calibur 2 and bring it to uh, Tekken 3. Uh, it's a full package. Uh, the every the arcade part of the game and the unlockables are just plentiful. Uh, the combat is super tight and to, you know it's, it's it's easy to pick up. Really difficult to master. Um, if you see if you watch it if you ever watch like World Championship Tekken fights, what the what the players can fucking do is ridiculous. You know, competitive players are just godlike on Tekken. Um, but like, I love, I love remember all the old unlockable modes like Tekken Force mode, which is like almost like a Street to Rage mode, was really fun. Yeah, I think you had like Tekken Bowling at one point. I think you've got in this. I forget. I need to go through and unlock all the unlockables. Um, but it's a full package. It's not just a fighting game. It's got all the other little added modes that make it fun. Uh, all the endings for the for the characters were, were just really, really, really great as well. Really fun endings. Funny enough, Jin, uh, Jin was my main on on the front there. He was my main, uh, and yeah, I, I love playing as him. He was awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, with Manuel. But um, yeah, it's, well, I can't say anything else about this that hasn't really been said. It, to me, it's the best, one of the best fighting games of all time. It's up there with Soul Calibur 2 as being the two best fighting games ever. Um, I don't know if there'll be anything else that I can really say about it that hasn't been said, but it is one of the best games in my collection for PS1, and it will probably remain there, you know, for, for, for the rest of my collection, regardless of what else I pick up, because it's, it's amazing. That's Tekken 3. Going from, uh, going from one of the best fighting games from the fifth generation, we're going to literally to me straight up the best racing game of the fifth generation and that's Gran Turismo 2 I remember getting this in Woolworths when it came out because I was a massive fan of the first game and this consumed my life for the longest time as a kid I literally rinsed and rinsed this I couldn't tell you how many hours I put into this game I put so many hours into it um, I remember just saving loads of money up and getting the uh, Suzuki Escudo car, which was, I think at the time, the fastest car ever made in real life. And in the, in the game, it was literally the fastest car in the game. It was ridiculous. And I remember I used to grind out the uh, Le Mans races, the endurance races with the, with the Escudo car. Because it was just like, I just was, was outrunning everyone. It's ridiculous. And I just, just grind those out and get loads of money and just start, you know, doing the, doing the licenses later on and getting into the later stuff. I would really would just grind this game. It's to me it's a it's a it's a racing racing RPG, right? You know, it's it's it goes along those same kind of routes. You know, you earn your licenses to get new to do new races, you do more races to earn money, to get better cars. Like it's got a it's got a, a, a RPG like progression in my opinion. Um and I absolutely love it. Uh yeah definitely one of the best racing games of all time. Um the you know, I've always said even back then, the the further graphics will go, graphics for vehicles for cars will be the first to really become you know photorealistic. And I think I was right in that assertion. Look at games like you know Forza Horizon Five, for example. It looks absolutely incredible. Um, games like that, you know, cars will be the first thing to look photorealistic versus humans. I think humans are going to be a bit more difficult. They're getting there, but it still looks a bit you know you can tell it's not real. Grand Turismo 2 at the time was absolutely incredible for the visuals. Uh, no one had ever seen cars look this good in a game before. And yeah, uh, get, yes, I can't keep saying it. Best racing game of the fifth generation. Uh, one of the best racing games of all time. The only game that really tops this for me would be probably Grand Turismo 4 uh, in the franchise. I think 4 was just the, the tippy top of that. You know, you know, They saw what they'd done before and they gave us the, the, the complete package. The actual full-on masterpiece that was Grand Turismo 4 on PS2. But this, uh, this is uh, the best of the PS1 Grand Turismo 2. I couldn't, I couldn't leave this game off the list, guys. Of the best games of of, of my PS of my PS1 collection, it's the namesake of the channel. I adore this game. I remember playing this on the Sega Saturn originally on my uncle's uh, Sega Saturn. You know, when I went over to visit my uncle, I played loads of it. The idea that you can build loads of units and send them into send them to fight the enemy sounded amazing to me as a kid. Uh, I'm talking about Command and Conquer. I, oh, mate, I love this game. I miss this franchise, guys. Like I'm, I used to follow this franchise, Command and Conquer, Red Alert, Red Alert Two, um, the Tiberian Wars. You get the gist, like you know, Command and Conquer Three, Command and Conquer Three, Kane's Revenge, all this kind of stuff. Generals, man, 
Command Conquer Generals on the PC was an underrated game. Holy shit, that was great. Uh, this is the original though. The OG. Uh, I love this game. Uh, from from the from the the sound bites of like the the, the units going yes sir, uh, Roger. Uh, all these kind of like sound bites. They're just ingrained into my memory bank because they're just so nostalgic to me. The live action uh, cutscenes of your like your lieutenants or your generals, you know, giving you orders is like super 90s cheese but it's the best kind of 90s cheese um the sound effects the soundtrack was awesome as well the soundtrack was great this game i keep saying it on this list but this game is the full package every game on this list is a full package game for me i miss when we used to get games straight out of the box with the full full game on it and you have to write about patches you didn't have to write about anything like that you got like this was the complete experience and i miss that with games in them these days you know uh this uh is one of my favorite games on ps1 uh it's so nostalgic to me i've got tons of nostalgia for it every little detail about this game just brings me warm and fuzzy feelings it's just nostalgia overload the sound effects the soundtrack the live action cutscenes the actual mechanics the ui the way things are you know building you know, you know the way things the way things animate like everything is just it's just the ultimate nostalgia game for me, this is. And it had to be on the best of my PS1 collection. It had to be in there. Uh, that's Command and Conquer. So that's it, guys. That is my five picks for the best PS1 games in my collection currently. That is a key word there, guys, currently. This could change down the line because I will be getting more PS1 games down the line. So if I get the Metal Gear Solid, Silent Hill, for example, they'll probably be in the, the best of the best, in my opinion, as well. But these, as they stand, are the best games in my collection. Let me know any or all of your thoughts on these games in the comments down below. And let me know, what are your favourite games on the PS1 in your own personal collections? I'd love to read the comments down below. As always, guys, let's continue to build a PS1 collection.